Well, I took a closer look at the uh, hoe, and it really uh, needed some work, so certain seams had showed up, and there was no real flex or cracks in them, but I think it was just from the age of the paint and just the moisture in the hull drying out. So I sanded those. I used a two-part metal epoxy putty to fill a lot of the deeper gouges, and then I also used that in the uh, corner edges where the paint had cracked to fill those cracks. And now I'm putting on the first coat after sanding. It's not really working with this lighting, but let's see here. So there's the first coat going on. I've got my water line taped off. Very nice old propeller, brass, and brass uh, reinforcement on the keel as well as the uh, bow. So it is reinforced that way. I'm pretty sure it's a two-part hull, just like Bassett Look uh, used to make for display models on walls. Uh, split down the center and then uh, bonded with casing probably or some kind of horse glue. And uh, it's very solid. There's no flex at all in this body. So very happy about that. The integrity is excellent. Now with this, I'm going to put on a coat and then I'm going to do a wet sand over top of this coat once it's thoroughly dried after a couple of days on this side and part of the bottom. And then I'll wet sand it with water and get it very, very polished. And I know this is probably going to make some antique collectors just cringe, but if you're going to play with a toy, you want to make sure it's going to last and it's not going to sink to the bottom of the lake. So there you go. I also uh, figured out the uh, front windows. Seems that five out of the six are replaced. This is the original window here, the brass uh, edge on it. I'm going to be replacing all of those probably. There's a replacement there. And then there's a crystal there that I put in just for temporary to keep the water out. Now, the first one, which I think is a Bassett Loak fixture, has a very thick one quarter inch round glass piece cut for it. Very, very difficult to do. Um, ground down, probably. Then the second and the others have uh, perspex. So that was replaced later. And I'm assuming that the uh, cabin also had glass at one point and then somebody replaced it with plexi because the mirrors were quite degraded and I think they are original so anybody who has a boat with mirrors in the windows might uh, leave a comment so that I know that that's some kind of process they used back in the day for display so there you go I'm gonna get back to painting this behemoth I think I'll be going out next Sunday to Burnaby Modelers Association at Central Park and taking this out to go for a little bit of a ride. If my micro Metal Gear servos show up today, or Monday or Tuesday, then I'll be installing the throttle on this. That'll make me feel a lot more confident in taking it out on a lake. So, have a good day guys, and uh, back to painting.